Listen, even if you're not a gamer or you're not into the game Fortnite, TSM Daquan is this very, very, very popular professional gamer and he has this life philosophy about that W key that I wanna talk about today because I truly believe that it is extremely beneficial to anybody struggling with anxiety or depression or just hitting a rough patch in their life. So let's talk about it. Awesome, is this. <laughs> What? Ooh, this game's trash! This game's trash! What are you talking about? This game's trash! I just died to a bug! I just died to a bug! I just died to a bug! What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. Whether it's anxiety, depression, or PTSD, or dealing with loved ones or friends and just navigating through life, like make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I do a ton of videos to help you out with your mental health. And some of my recent videos have been on some controversies and things like that and trying to help you all like learn lessons from this to improve your mental health. And like, I've been meaning to make this video about Daquan ever since I saw uh, the TSM video over on their channel. I'll link it in the description below. And it's called Meet D TSM Daquan. So um, I'm a Fortnite player. Uh, so great, some great bonding time my son and I have is when we play Fortnite together. It's awesome. And I watch streamers and Daquan is one of my favorite. I don't know much about the guy, but he's absolutely hilarious to watch. But anyways, I like that TSM does this, by the way. It's really cool because uh, I'll link up in the info card if any of you are interested. I used to be uh, in the professional esports uh, career industry, right? And I kind of ruined it. But anyways, if you want to check that out and hear my story, go ahead and watch. But I like how TSM is like getting, letting us get to know their players like this. But anyways, it's so cool. Like, man, there's so much news out there just about like gaming this, gaming that is bad for kids, it's bad for that. And like, there was some controversy like last week about parents paying people to coach their kids in Fortnite. And by the way, let me tell you this, over 10 years ago, people were paying me to coach them in Counter-Strike. This isn't something new. Um, but anyways, besides that, like gaming is a great thing and I think it's beautiful, especially like growing up with video games. Like it's, it's beautiful that kids can do something that they love and actually like, do it if they want to like for for their career like it, it, it's amazing and and the reason i say that because some of you are like yeah but how many are really going to become pros like i look at it in the same way you would look at like you know hockey or football or basketball like the thing about gaming is is like you don't need certain physical attributes to do it so it's much more realistic but anyways anyways getting back to the point of this video um daquan he he has this like w crew and like in the t meet TSM Daquan video, he talks about how this is life philosophy and I really think it's beneficial. So let's watch this clip and then we'll come back and we'll discuss. That's the whole thing about like people, you know, how I have like my W gang about the W key and how it's just like the W key moves you forward in a video game. Like for example, you press W on a keyboard and it moves your character forward in Fortnite. And my W key is pretty much just like, no matter what it is in life, Whatever you're going through, you can press that W key, you can get out of that situation. You know, the worst thing that you can do when you're sad or depressed or going through something is just to be alone. You know, just to not do anything, just to sit in your room and do this or do that. You know, you really wanna force yourself to move towards positivity. All right, so the first thing I wanna say is like, there's some really, really good role models out there who are in the streaming community, like really good role models. So if you're a parent out there, and you're like, ah, oh, quit watching these streamers. Like, like how often do you hear about these huge controversies with gamers, like uh, these big streamers from Fortnite? Like, you don't really hear it that much. And that's like, that's really cool because you hear drama about everybody else every five seconds. So that's one thing. But anyways, I wanted to talk about this because yes, 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 yes. Like, like, 
For those of you who don't know, and Daquan explained this, like the W key moves you forward, okay? You got W-A-S-D, forward, backwards, left, right, right? And like, I just thought like when he popped up, like he was just like, yeah, always just be pushing, be aggressive and stuff. So when I heard this, I'm like, yeah, man, true that. So like, I want you guys to look at this and just think about moving forward in your life every single day, every single day, do something that moves you forward, all right? So for me per personally, for me personally, I wake up every day, every day with one goal, just one goal, just one, all right? Every day, I wanna be a little bit better of a person than I was the day before. That's it. I don't put this huge expectation on myself. So when we're talking about you moving forward and doing something to improve your life, improve your mental health, we're not talking about these massive leaps like, oh, become a business owner tomorrow, become a millionaire tomorrow, become this tomorrow, no, no, no. It's these tiny baby steps. So like, for me, it's just like, okay, today, how do I be a better father today than I was yesterday? How do I be a better uh, boyfriend today than I was yesterday? How do I be a better son today than I was yesterday? How do I be a better employee today than I was yesterday? How do I be a better YouTuber today than I was yesterday? All these things, like whatever it is, I just try to look at one thing, I assess my day and I'm like, okay, what can, what's something I can improve on today, all right? And this is constantly moving me forward. And like for all of you, when I'm talking about these baby steps, like you gotta understand like, even though you're not making these huge strides, like little by little, if you're doing this once a day, every single day, you you get this kind of equity built up and eventually you're just, people start to notice, people start to notice you're becoming a better person, you're becoming in a better place. So for you, here's my suggestion. Here's my suggestion to you. Set up small goals to accomplish every single day. And here's why. Science has proven, okay, that setting specific goals and accomplishing them increases the production of neurotransmitters in your brain. Neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. These are the things that make you happy. This is a natural way to make you happy. So set up very small goals. I'll list some examples, all right? So every day, say one nice thing about yourself. Every day, write down five things that you're grateful for. Every day, call one person and ask them how they're doing. Not to call them and complain about your problems, but simply to ask them how they're doing. Like pick from any of these, any of these things will help and that could be your goal, okay? So if you call that one person a day and ask them how they're doing, it is guaranteed that you will feel better afterwards, just by asking them how they're doing, all right? Say positive affirmations, do something for yourself. Gratitude lists, I've talked about gratitude lists a million times. Here's another goal, and I'm gonna challenge you all to do this, and I want you to come back to this video and let me know if you did it, okay? Meditate for 10 minutes a day. If you could do that goal, I will just be, oh, it will make me so, so, so happy. And here's why. I just read an article today, which I will link down below, Yale, Y'all ever heard about this place called Yale? It's a place where really smart people are. Yale just released a study that people meditating for 10 minutes a day improve their cognitive functions. And the beauty of this is it is not experienced meditators. So we're talking just random people. They took random people and just had them do guided meditations for 10 minutes a day. They hooked them up to brain scanners and they saw improvements in their cognitive functions. Now you're saying, but Chris, what exactly are cognitive functions? Well, I'm glad you asked. Cognitive functions come from a part of your brain right here in the front called the prefrontal cortex. It's what separates us from the animals. We're pretty smart people, but the problem is a lot of us don't access this part of the brain as much as we should. 10 minutes of meditation a day strengthens it. Think about it like doing a bicep curl for the prefrontal cortex. But here's a list of some of the things that the prefrontal cortex does. Impulse control, all right? Emotional regulation. Okay, fear modulation, attunement, how you feel connected to other people. Here's a great one, logical decision making. So, for example, if you have poor impulse control and poor emotional regulation, then you're probably not going to be that great at logical decision making, all right? So meditate for 10 minutes a day, set that as your goal, all right? But anyways, I just wanna make this video and, and just talk about some positive stuff out there, some things that you can do to just keep hitting that W key of life and moving forward forward, even if it's hard, even if it's challenging. Like I promise you, just make baby steps and things will get better. All right, let's do this. Let's start a conversation below and let's, let's, let's talk about something that you're gonna try to do for the next week 
the one thing a day that you're going to do to keep moving forward, all right? Let's hear it down in the comments below and let's talk, all right? And support each other. I love that kind of stuff so much. But that's all I got for you today. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I love all of you. All right, if you wanna check out some more videos on my channel, you can click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching. Keep moving forward today and I'll see you next time.